A lot of you guys asked about my hot girl menopause smoothie. I'm gonna make it right now. All the ingredients are gonna be down below in the bio. And I love this. It's something I drink every day. And this is how I break my fast when I do intermittent fasting. So let's get started and I'll tell you why I use these ingredients. You can swap them out if you want, but this is what I like to use. All right, so we'll start out with the base. Um, milk almonds, this is Elmer's. This is my favorite almond milk because that's what it has in it, is almonds. It doesn't have a bunch of filler in it. It doesn't have a bunch of just junky ingredients that I can't read. Literally filtered water and almonds, that's it. And I add that as, as we go. Um, and this, just, this lasts for a long time actually in the fridge, so I like that too because that's all it has in it. It's not a bunch of junk. All right, next up, I'm trying to decide what I wanna do because I'm gonna use blueberries in this one. So I love this chocolate. This is um, this is an acid-kicking plant-based protein. Alchemine, Dr. Daryl Joffrey, who I've had on here a few different times. He is big about reducing sugar and reducing inflammation. And so that's what all his products do. But we're gonna use the vanilla coconut because it'll taste a little more like blueberries. And what I like about his products is they reduce inflammation, which is huge right now for me and something I've really been concentrating on. I don't know about you, but when I hit menopause, I really, and perimenopause too, my stomach was always feeling really bloated and just awful. And I didn't know why I was feeling like that. And it really was the food I was eating and it was when I was eating it. And it was also the fact that I was inflamed. So this is gonna be one scoop, and the good thing about this is that it's got pea protein in it, and it's got different types of it, uh, hemp protein in it as well. So if you're getting your protein. Next up, we're gonna do blueberries because these are antioxidants, wild blueberries. This lasts me for a long time. Amazon 365, just use their brand because it's easy. Then, um, maca powder is very big, and there is there are different studies out there that say it helps alleviate hot flashes. Not cure them, not stop them, I'm not a doctor, you know that. But for the hot girl menopause smoothie, we do not want hot flashes at all. So I do about a scoop of this and I will leave the brand that I use down below. I've tried different kinds and a lot of it gets all clumpy in here. Um, and so this is one that really doesn't do that. These are these little OXO containers where they have the pop top and I don't know if you can see so I have them all lined up here behind me and they're labeled with my label maker, yes. But it keeps me organized and I know what is what. And so I, I like these, I've used these for a long time. And then I have another one that has cinnamon in it. You know, if you have brain fog, this is really, really good because then you know what's in everything. Even when, you know, you don't do like a sniff test on it. For cinnamon, it's really good to fight inflammation too. So I do just about that much, which is about a half of like, Maybe it's about a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half. Um, real fast, before I go on, I love this protein powder, it's great. If you decide you wanna do something and don't use blueberries, but you want like a chocolate flavor instead, this is one called Hush Hush, and that's another one that I use if I don't have the alkaline. So either one of these are interchangeable. Okay, let's keep going. Um, vitamin D3, K2, and look, you don't have to use all this stuff, but I don't wanna take a whole bunch of vitamins every time I have to do everything. So this is nice to have some of these. This is literally a drop. I'm really low in vitamin D, so I do a drop. Sometimes do an extra one because it doesn't seem like enough to me. But um, that's good. Okay, we're gonna do ice. We're gonna do a little bit of water too. And then we're gonna blend this up. I'm waiting for bananas to come back right now. And so um, somebody has helped me get bananas, so I'm just waiting for him. So I'm just stalling a little bit while I wait for him to get my banana. So let's put some water in this. Really slowly. All right, this is what it's gonna look like. And by the way, you know, you, you, can, you can decide how you want this to be. I sent her down to get bananas. And um, just waiting. The ice is melting. If you don't have bananas, you can definitely do the soft banana but I like the smoothness of bananas, so it gives you kind of that like shake feeling and it fills me up because I do this after my intermittent fast. So I do it like 16 hours. So my last meal is around eight o'clock and I do this around noon. And then that lasts me, so I just eat in that eight hour window. But anyway, you don't have to have banana. Guess what? I hear my bananas coming. I 
and can I have the bananas? Can I have the bananas? Okay. I got a few other things. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, anything to get in a video, Ira. I think we'll do a whole banana. Let's get a little crazy today and do a whole banana since he, he went all the way and got them. Um, Okay, let's go ahead and mix this up. And I gotta tell you, I like, here's another reason I like this. I, I also like this because of the fact I know what I'm gonna do in the morning. So I'm not like, what am I gonna eat? Am I gonna have yogurt? Am I gonna have oatmeal? What am I gonna have? I definitely know that this is what I'm going to have at noon every day. So it, it makes me relax when I have a plan. seeds over the top makes it crunchy but you don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. By the way, make sure and subscribe, hit the notification button so you don't miss a video. Uh, we're going to have one every week, Tuesdays with Tamsin. We'll see you then.